Let's take a look at adding some images in Microsoft Word. Now in this case I'm working with a brochure template, but the features and tricks I'll show you that relate to working with images will apply in almost any Word document. Step one would be go out and get your image first. If you're grabbing it off of the internet, you're of course using a copyright friendly source for your images save that image to your hard drive or to your network drive and then your next step folks is to click and place the cursor where you'd like to have the image appear now go to insert picture from file find your image let me drag this so you can see it click the insert button and now your image has been dropped into the appropriate spot. In this case, it's a good placement, but I'm not happy with the size, so I'm going to hover the pointer over one of these black boxes that we call handles. I'll hold the Shift key down and click and drag to change the size of the image. Now what the Shift key does is it maintains the proportion of your image so that it does not look smushed or squished. All right, we have the image in place, but you'll notice there's a big chunk of white space right here, and I'd like to change that. So I'm looking at the picture toolbar, and I'm going to click on the text wrapping button. The icon has a picture of a very small dog on it. Click that, and you'll see there are a variety of choices available to you. Let's start with the tight option. Now the text flows nicely around my picture, if I drag my picture down a little bit, or to a different placement in the brochure, the text continues to flow. There are other options as well that you should explore. You can have the image set off a little bit by using top and bottom, and perhaps center it. My picture is still selected. I'm going to go back. Maybe I want the text and the picture to blend a little bit more and I'll choose the through option. This can work depending on the size and shape of your image. Try different alignment options and see which one works best for your text and your image. And now let's explore this picture toolbar, toolbar a little bit more. This button would allow me to insert a brand new picture. We already have one though, so we'll skip that. This button allows me to change the color of the image to a variety of different presets. I'll go for grayscale, which might be appropriate if I'm printing this document in black and white. These two buttons allow me to change the contrast of the picture, whereas the buttons next to them with the little sun will make the picture more or less bright, affecting the brightness. This tool is a really useful tool because I can crop the image. Let's put it to work. I'll choose the crop tool and now you'll notice the border of the image has changed. And I can grab part of that cropping bar and drag it down. Now when I crop the image by clicking on the crop button again, I've actually modified the image very quickly. We've lost the neck of the guitar here and we have the body only. This button will rotate the image or I can also hover the pointer over the green circle and free rotate it in any direction that works best for me. I can add a border, compress the picture further, do some formatting in uh, the Microsoft Picture Editor. Now this is a great tool here. If I choose to set a transparent color, what I can do is click in part of my picture and it will make whatever color or shade I click on transparent. I'm going to click on the black and you'll notice if you look closely now some of the black has disappeared. Depending on the type of picture you have this can be very effective. In this case the change was not dramatic. And lastly if I'm not happy with the changes that I've made all the way on the far right is the reset picture option. I'll click that and the picture is returned completely to its original state, same size, color, any of my changes 
have been removed to the picture.